Uh, you know, John, you know, as you look at uh, your clients and, the, and see them thinking about developing a new type of a product or service, do you see uh, security as an element that is getting increased uh, attention or focus at the, at the highest levels of, of, of your clients? Uh, absolutely, and, and I think the, the move to mobile, if anything, has accelerated that. So security is being designed up front in all really retail financial products now and, and also some institutional products. I think that's a great example of building it into the business strategy up front and like you said integrated and not a bolt-on or a compliance check the box, I, I did it after the fact. Right. Yeah, I think there is an inversion that's happening where security is actually being embedded up front. And I think it's a really important trend because if that type of inversion happens and security is in fact embedded into a product development, that product is likely going to be much, much safer, much more secure as it goes out, out in the marketplace. I think our members of boards and CEOs and senior executives need to make sure they're challenging their teams. And, and again, it, talking about that inversion concept of putting security up front as opposed to on the back end is going to wind up you know, resulting in a much more efficient expenditure of capital to drive innovation. And, and there's been a sea change in not only the threat landscape associated with our ecosystems, but also the, the use and reliance on the technology and, and its impact on innovation and growth. But Technology is not the only element here from a, a risk perspective. The human element, the, the people in the organization and their role in security is a critical one as well. Yeah, I mean, look, I think this is a situation where you have a top-down and a bottom-up solution. I mean, from a top-down, the tone at the top, at the board, at the CEO level, has to be one that is, espouses the importance of information security and communicates to the organization from a cultural perspective that's, that embedding security in what is done every single day is quite important. And from the bottom up, employees at every single level also have to have an appreciation. Now they'll learn from the messaging and the tone that is set from the top, but every single individual employee certainly has a role to play in, in, in securing the enterprise. Yeah, I mean, David, I, I just think about our own experience here at PwC and some of the training and the automated training uh, that, that, you know, interactive training that we've built and we have each of our staff at all levels take and refresh and, and how that has engendered a much greater um, sense of, of really being a custodian for either our own data or our clients' data throughout the organization. And if I can just add to that, this is a process. It's like a wheel that must continue to turn. And I think what's important about that is the, the message or the training uh, perspective has to constantly evolve because the kinds of technologies that we use, the way that we use the technologies, and also the kinds of risks and opportunities are constantly evolving. Well, I mean, just look at social media, right, and how it's evolved over the last several years. Obviously, there's opportunities and great benefits, but you know, there's also significant threats in terms of you know, posting inappropriate information, confidential information, um, using social media to actually penetrate further into the organization. These are, these are threats that were literally unknown uh, in, a few years ago. So to your point, I mean, evolving the threats, evolving the training, evolving the awareness so that you can safely use some of these you know, new technologies and techniques to the benefit with, without you know, incurring unacceptable risk is, is key.